I hope, you know, my, the goal was, it, you know, the thing that I, I thought was, was cool about it and I hope people think is interesting about it is it's a fresh, it's fresh, you know, it's a, we don't, we haven't necessarily seen that. I think the, um, you know, we, we, we haven't necessarily seen how any of the action heroes that we know of, you know, uh, uh, where they came from, how they came to be, you know. Um, and I think it's cool to dive into that story, especially one that's completely ridden with, uh, you know, uh, absolute tragedy you know there's something that's really uh, personal about that story and something that's really realistic about it too that you find out um, you know uh, when talking to these guys you know that um, a lot of them funny enough have uh, have come from that same kind of thing in their life too that has led them to this um, to this to this life you know and so so I thought that was a really uh, you know interesting um, look into uh, 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 these guys in real life and like where they come from and how they end up there, you know, how they end up fighting for our country. Hurley is the ultimate pragmatist, uh, beyond practical. People are disposable, uh, which is how I view life, actually, if you want to know the truth. Cold-hearted approach to things. That's basically who he is. Uh, comes from um, years and years of experience. But somebody like that has got to want to have a life that requires that. You don't. That's not. This is not a thing. Like I think I'll kind of take that job. You know. Uh, uh, so some people have purpose-driven life. He's he's really got a purpose-driven life. this uh, time in his life that's uh, very difficult and he's clearly uh, struggling with things and so stemming from what he went through and he's uh, he's lost a lot and he's isolated himself a lot and he's uh, he's suffering from you know the effects of this trauma that he went through and um, um, and he and he has a vengeance and he's uh, it, it's all about not knowing how to process what happened to him you know he's so angry and he's never uh, um, you know he's taken all the all the negative routes in terms of handling those things where he's, you know, he's, he's kind of just now driven to kill and he wants, you know, and he, that could spiral out of control. Um, he could get himself killed. He can, uh, you know, he's, he, he doesn't understand what happened to him and it's kind of about you watching him sort of go through this, uh, um, uh, this arc of figuring it out and um, processing what happened to him. and and understanding that it'll be with him forever, you know, and uh, nothing, nothing's going to immediately happen that's going to wipe away everything, which is what he wants for so long, and then he understands that it's more about, you know, he has this opportunity to kind of be an asset to the country and um, prevent this from happening to, to anyone else. Well, I'm odd in this regard. I, I, there's a really simple scene where we're sitting outside of the cafe. I just kind of like what was written, and also I thought, wow, I'm in Rome making a big international movie that was really <laughs> fun. But I do like that. Sometimes I, I prefer, I, I, look, I, I can't say I didn't enjoy the, the physical scenes, because I do enjoy them. I do like it, because I like how ridiculous it is that I actually could beat one of these stuntmen up. <laughs> I, like the, I like the silliness of it. But you, it's, you're like a big kid. You get to do it. It's fun. I can't yeah. admit But a lot of times I like the smaller scenes. I like the... I like the scene, you know, where I uh, speak with my uh, Iranian kind of counterpart. I like the scene with he and I sitting there at the cafe, uh, which actually was cut down because it had to be edited for, you know, time. And also it made more sense in telling a story like all, mm -hmm. all movies are made like that. That's what it comes down to. And you think, well, when two guys are around, the what about conversations? Like, they're not constantly chasing people in cars. You know? <laughs> That's all they do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I let you know. Uh, same with Michael. I mean, those those are always great moments too that, that surprise you a little bit. Like you're, you know, you have a sit down seat with someone, um, and uh, that can be more entertaining, um, you know, throughout the day and fun to do and dive into and experiment with than, uh, you know, a fight scene. But uh, I really did enjoy the fight scenes too. All the action stuff I, I loved, and um, that's always a good way to spend a day at work too. Makes time go by. Uh, you're getting really into it, you know. It's really, it's a whole different art too, working, you know, being physical like that with a camera as well, you know. Um, uh, the gun training was like some of my favorite stuff, so the shooting range scene was uh, really fun for me. And um, um, 
Yeah, I mean, the whole movie. The whole movie. 彼は CIA にスカウトをされ復讐のために利用しようとした男タイムリミットは48時間世界の命運はこの危険な男に託されたアメリカンアサシン。